Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video today and welcome back to a championship prediction table. To let you guys know, every uh, week in the championship, uh, League 1 and 2, there will be ditches on this channel. So I thought to start it off, what I'll do, I won't do it for League 1 and League 2 this year. If you want me to do League 1 and League 2, please feel free to leave your comments down below and I will do that for you. But what I thought I'd do is the second time I've done this on the channel, um, try to predict the championship table for the 2019-2020 season. Now the championship ain't easy, we all know that. And the teams that go down roughly don't come straight back up. Um, I mean, the likes of Aston Villa failed to do so. Swansea, Stoke, they've all failed to come back up to the Premier League. The hardest table to predict, but I thought because I've done uh, predictions for the championship every week and League 1 and 2, I'll do a championship prediction table. So, guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching, and let's go. So, the bottom three I've gone with, and as you can now tell on the screen, is Wigan, Barnsley, and Reading. Um, why have I put Wigan bottom? Now, let's not beat around the bush with Wigan. Um, they've stayed up, but I think it's mostly because Christian Walter's out on loan from Brighton in the past two years. He's now gone to Blackburn. So I think Wigan will face the drop this season. Um, maybe not bottom, but I think they will go down. So that's why I stuck them down at the bottom. 23rd, I went with Barnes. They just came back up. I don't think they've done enough. Um, but, you know, you can't be surprised if Barnes do just about stay up, but I don't think they will. Um, and 22nd, obviously, you can see on the screen anyway, is Reading. Um, Reading. I don't know, with Reading, it really is an odd team at the minute. I mean, you look at Reading, for example, where they had that major season under Yapstam, um, and they went all pot up, and, you know, he got the sack, and it's all been downhill roughly since then. Um, yet again, another team failed to, come, failed to go, go down from the Premier League and straight back up, but they seem to be looking up the other way, not up now, so... I've had to put someone in there, I've decided to put red in, but yet again, don't be surprised if I do finish above that mark. Um, now from 21 to 10th, um, obviously you can see what I'm going for for 24, uh, 21 to 10th. Uh, explain you through. Um, 21st, I've gone Luton Town. Now, yet again, Luton have just came up, but I think Luton are so... Um, capable of holding their own um, from time to time. The thing that Nathan Jones left on Luton, I think they got to use that experience to help them in this league. Um, I really can't see Luton going down at all, actually. Come and think of it. In 20th, I've gone with Millwall. No disrespect to Millwall, but they have been down there Uh you know, year in, year out, roughly around down there anyway. Um, but, you know, with Millwall, I think they will finish around about there as well. Um, they've got quite a 20th, maybe a bit higher, but stuck a bit 20th, so that's probably roughly a good average for Millwall. Uh, no disrespect to Millwall, um, but I think that's not a bad finish for you. Um, 19th, we've got Blackburn. Christian Walters out on loan from Brighton, we've already stated. But I think they will have enough to stay in the league as well. Um, but with Blackburn, it can be a bit of an iffy team. And obviously in the Championship, you do play Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday. So, you know, this table can change fairly quickly. Um, but I think that um, will finish in 19th. Uh, I don't think, I think that's just a perfect spot for them at the minute. Um, in 18th, I've gone with Birmingham. 
David Stockdale, old Brighton keeper. Um, you know, Birmingham. Yeah, again, Birmingham have had that spell where you you had that great season under Go Rowlett, falling out the playoffs, and then your board let them go for whatever reason. Um, one move by your board, I personally do think you probably agree with me as well. But you know, and you're struggling to stand this division as well. You know, let's not beat around the bush um, with Birmingham. Um, in 17th, I've gone with Nottingham Forest. Nottingham Forest are that average championship team, if you know what I mean. No disrespect to Forest, but you're just that average championship team. You know, you never look like going up. Um, I know a few teams in the championship are the same, but you never look like our team ran down. You look like just in that bracket sort of finish place come the end of the season. In 16th, I've gone with QPR. Um, you know, ain't doing, ain't done too badly over the past couple of years. Nearly have found that gap, that drop zone over the past uh, few years and now and again. But they've stayed in there. So, you know, QPR sits in, I think they finish there. Um, Sheffield Wednesday, yet again, another team that really did have that bracket to push for the Premier League that one season. Um, and then ever since then just gone straight downhill so you know it's one of them things where I think in the championship if you don't finish or get in the Premier League you will struggle um full team gone with Brentford um yeah again just another bank average Premier League team um not Premier League championship team <laughs> got the right division um but, you know, with Brentford, as I said, a bit like Notts Forest, they're really just in that bracket. Never really look like going anywhere. But who knows, in a few years, maybe pushing for the Prem. Um, 13th Hull. Um, yet again, Hull was another town. Went up to the Premier League, dropped back down and failed to get back up. Um, you know, with Hull, where do you go uh, with strength? Do you stay defensive or do you go more attacking minded? Um, but, you know, let's see what happens with Hull. Um, 12th, um, gone with Charlton. Now, a lot of you are probably saying, well, Charlton's only got promoted this season. They're going straight back down. I'll tell you why I haven't put them um, that long in the table. And that is because. I think they're attacking minded under Lee Bowyer. Um, let's forget all the crazy stuff that went on there. But with their attacking mind, I think they will finish. I think they'll be the surprise of the championship this season. So literally, watch out for Charlton. Um, but, you know, as I said, watch out for them. Let's, let's see what happens. In 11th, I've gone with Swansea. Swansea, yet again, another team that fell down for the Prem and just that bang average championship team and um, I think them two years in the Prem, two, three, whatever years are, when you go back down that separates the men from the boys um, but I put uh, Swansea in the level because of their recent form and their recent finishes in the championship. In 10th I've gone with relegation Huddersfield who got relegated from the Prem. Now I can see a lot of you Huddersfield fans saying Oh, you know, we got to go straight back up, we got to do this, we got to do Remember what I'm saying in this video in particular, a lot of teams failed to come back up in their first attempt. Um, but, you know, let's see where we go with Huddersfield. Um, but that's my 21st attempt. Now let's go 9th to 3rd. Ninth, I've gone with Cardiff. Yet yeah, again, Cardiff failed. To stand the prem, um, literally just fell in that trapdoor, um, you know, losing to Palace, saving Brighton, uh, you know, it's just I think I think it works out as a point in it overall, um, if I remember, but I think yet yeah, Cardiff will not come, uh, will not go up to the Premier League, uh, first time of asking, I think they're losing one or two many players, powerful players anyway. 
Um, eighth, Gomez Stoke. Um, with Stoke, where do you go? I mean, I mentioned Nathan Jones on, on the loot, and I think Nathan Jones is getting there, but it's taking time. And yet again, Stoke was another team that failed to get back up to the Premier League in the first time of asking. A lot of fans, including me, if I remember rightly, thought that they go come straight back up, it didn't happen. Um, in seventh place, I've gone with Preston North End. Um, you know, Preston is yet again another bang average championship team, but I think Preston will start looking towards the playoff end of it now. Um, I think Preston needs to try and take their chances more now than ever, but if not, you know, let's see where the Preston end up. This table is so hard to predict. Um, but, you know, as I've said, I'll, I'll predict it this way. And if you want to review at the end of the season, put your comments down below for that as well. Um, now, from 6th to 3rd, which is the plow spots. In 6th, I've gone with Derby. Great season under Frank Lampard. Frank Lampard has left for Chelsea, we all know. Um, but I think Derby will reach the playoff set again. Um, West Brom, um, you know, they didn't have a bad season last season. Yet again, another team to fail to get to go down and back up to the Prem. Um, you know, but with West Brom sacking Darren, is that the right move? Um, this year really is going to have a toll on West Brom, whether it's the right move or not. Um, but I think West Brom is another team that could end up under 10th place if it don't work out. Um, but I think the second Durham was a bold move by West Brom board. Um, but, you know, I think we've all got to stick with what our board wants to do. Um, in fourth place, I've gone with leagues. Yeah, come on, leagues. You know, you know, I can see some stick going on here towards me. Um, no disrespect to leagues, but every time you get in that top two, you're nearly there, you're nearly there. And then something happens within your team. I don't know what it is, but... And yet again, you're getting real too many key players to finish in that top two. Um, but I think leagues will finish in the playoff set again. Um, third place, and this is the only team that I recommend will possibly come straight back up from the championship is Fulham because of their power front three. Um, you know, Fulham didn't have a bad set. I spent over a hundred million to stay in the Premier League and failed to do so. Um, you know, looking at losing key players, but I think Fulham will have a chance and finish in the playoff playoff places come the, come May um, because of their power front three. Now for my top two. Bristol City. I'm going to start with them. Considering I put them in second. Bristol City are one of them teams. I personally think. That deserve a shot. At the Premier League. I mean they've been so close year in year out. I think this year is possibly their year. Um, but you know. With all of this, let's see what happens. But I think Bristol City will actually do deserve the top two. And I think they will get it this season as well. I think they're going to be another surprise in this uh, championship season. In first place, I went with Middlesbrough. Um, now, not, don't get me wrong, Middlesbrough have had their ups and downs, sackings and so on. But with Middlesbrough, where, where do you go? Middlesbrough fans, put your comments down below. Where do you go from here? Do you start looking at promotion? Do you start looking at the playoffs? Do you start looking at the top ten? Where do where your where are your certain eyes at this point in time? Uh, obviously, getting on, getting rid of uh, Tony Pulis, it's going to take its toll. Um, but I think Middlesbrough's got a good shout of winning the league this year, only by surprising a lot of teams. Um, but guys, I've got. In this video, really, guys, you know what to do. Give us a big fat thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.